been in care since a young age. I've been in many different placements, um, living all over the country, different care homes, foster placements. I had no, no happy feelings, no happy thoughts. I was constantly negative. Before, I wouldn't even apply for jobs. I wouldn't even want to go anywhere. In the supported housing, there was other young people living there, and that's how I found out about HITS. Um, it progressed from them encouraging me to go every day. Being at the rack, um, it's definitely been absolutely amazing to be here. Steve, especially, is someone who kind of knows your background. He would know that I would have a different way to maybe another young person on the course. Um, over the three years of the course, um, through all the 12 Premiership clubs that run the project, we're looking to get 9,000 young people through the course and on to um, education or into employment. We've got four main title sponsors, so we've got Barclays, Land Rover, Comet Relief and Wooden Spoon. Sport's the hook, we get the young people in and you know, we want to do rugby with them, we do gym sessions with them, we do mixed martial arts sessions with them and then also they do these employability skills, life skills to help them get employed. Josh, when he first came to the project, he was you know, quite a shy young person. He didn't have a routine, he didn't want to do a lot for himself. But through the course, he's learnt skills that now he has motivation, he has a massive amount of confidence. The sessions with Barclays have been really, really successful. We get the young people actually to the branch in Bath. They get to meet the staff, get to meet all the managers there um, and build that relationship up with them. Barclays in Bath, we've been involved in the HITS programme for the last two years now. Within the sessions, the kind of things that we're working with, uh, with the team on are uh, things around how to manage their finances well. Uh, and that would come from things like uh, being able to budget, being able to understand uh, the differences between being in debt and being in credit. And then we take that right through to other things where they're looking to get into work. So we start to look at things around CV writing and we start to look at things like interview skills. Barclays is a global organisation, so it's really important to us that we invest money in the communities where we operate. Barclays Spaces for Sports and the HITS programme is just part of that wider investment. And our main focus, our main commitment, is to upskill 5 million young people by the end of 2015. We've recognised that for young people, it's quite tough out there. So we really want to help those young people develop their confidence, develop their skills, so that they can fulfil their potential. My first job was Bellbrook House, and that was really enjoyable. That was a lot of responsibility, but it really did help. And my jobs I want to progress on to is to be working in a mathematical environment, I'd say, or a business environment. Uh, rugby is a very close-knit group when you get real friendly with people, and I've been fortunate enough to be at the club for, for a while now, so it's really nice for me to have, not always have, have friends that I can fall back on instead of always relying on, on, on family members. I was brought up in, obviously in Wellington, New Zealand. I thought it was a bad neighbourhood, and I think playing rugby has kind of straightened me out. After the HITS programme, I feel I'm, it's, I have a lot more confidence in getting employed. I feel a lot more happy with being able to get somewhere with my life and getting a job and progressing on to better things in my life and being more ambitious.